Oh man, there's a lot of zombies in there. Shit, 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 shit. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s Dan Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is nighttime, as you can see, and we are cooking food, and, man, it is a beautiful thing. So I have uh, been able to make a total of uh, 10 uh, or 11 hobo stews, and uh, I could make more, but I ran out of spoiled meat, uh, which isn't surprising. So let me actually turn all of this stuff off for a minute. Um, so I'm, I'm just kind of looking to see what the next best food is that I can make uh, with the produce that I currently have and so um, let's see Let, let's just grab whatever else we have uh, we've got wheat wheat blueberries cabbage and that and let's grab some of that too because some recipes require butter all right let's just take a look and see what the options are here so uh do i know do i know how to make blueberry jam i don't okay so we don't know how to make that so blueberry jams out of the picture a uh, bowl of veggies looks pretty pretty good except for that requires a can of peas i only have one can of peas and i'd kind of like to save that for uh for gumbo once we can figure out the stove situation. By the way, I haven't seen any of your guys' comments on that yet. Um, okay, so we have bug kebabs, which aren't too bad. Uh, they take two health and two water away, uh, but they give pretty decent food, so that's an option. Um, we can also make, like, corn chips, uh, which require requires cornmeal and butter. I don't have enough mushrooms yet. Uh, we can make hash browns, which is potatoes and butter. Um, and yeah, it looks like that's pretty much kind of what we, we can do at the moment. So, I mean, bug kebabs would probably be the most economical because I have tons and tons of bugs. We got a lot, a lot of carrots left, a decent amount of potatoes left, but I'm curious to see, you know, what the corn chips in the um and the hash browns give us in terms of you know food how much food they give us so let's make a couple things of butter um hopefully I, wait can i do that here on the stove or i mean on the campfire butter yeah i can okay so let's make two of those and then we'll make a hash brown and we'll make a some corn chips and we'll see which one's better or maybe they'll, they're both the same Okay, so for the hash brown, um, where did that sucker go? Oh, it's up here now. Okay, so let's make one of those. That looks nummy. And then for the corn chips, we are going to need some corn meal. So let's go over here and making a whole mess of uh, pipe bombs. Need to turn these into bandages. Okay, so let's go here. Recipes, corn meal. Uh, let's make, well, actually, do I have some cornmeal? Let's take a look. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, so let's, um, make some corn chips, too. And then we'll compare those. Uh, let's also make uh, a bug kebab. And we'll compare all of, all of that and see, you know, what, what, what's the best thing to make based upon what we're able to make. So we need to pay uh, tomatoes and potatoes, and we actually make the bug kebabs on the campfire. Uh, so let's put a little bit of fuel in there, and we'll just make one of those. Okay, and we'll grab the hash browns and the corn chips. Now, I don't think... Can I make any kind of jam at all? Blueberry jam and yucca jam, those are both locked. So yeah, we, we can't make either one of those. So none of the jams and toasts are optional, or are, are, are an option for us right now. Um, so I think, uh, other than the bowl of veggies, 
Like, you know what? What the hell? Let's just make it. We've got one thing of peas here. Um, so... Recipes, bowl of veggies. What are we missing? Oh, the bowl. This is for science, as well as for my belly. Alright, so let's make the bowl of veggies. And we'll just compare all of those. <clears throat> now, um... What kind of salads are available? Gar garden salad? Uh, we don't have enough cucumbers for that, but I'm working on, on the cucumbers. And shorty stew, which I don't have available. Okay, what about cabbage? Cabbage can be used for hobo stew, red meat stew, vegetable stew. Yeah, none of the rest of the stuff we have unlocked. Okay, just double checking to make sure we're making everything we can possibly make at the moment. All right, so there's our veggie stew. All right, let's take a look and just do a quick comparison. Uh, so this gives us 18 food, but we lose two health and water. This gives us 15 food, but we get plus seven health and plus two. No, oh, no, we don't get any water at all, but we get five health. So that's 15. This, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so card chips, as, as you you know could expect in real life, but there's not a lot of tr nutrition in that. Um, okay, and then veggie stew is actually very good, uh, or bowl of veggies. Uh, why why wouldn't that give you any help? That doesn't make sense. It gives you a decent amount of food though. Okay, so I think that, I mean, this is definitely the cheapest to make. This isn't bad, really, if you think about it. Uh, none of these give a stamina bonus though. So that kind of sucks. Whereas just a straight up baked potato gives you a stamina bonus. So, you know, you wouldn't eat the b potato for hunger reasons, but to get the bonus for mining and stuff would be super useful. So this one's not, not bad. Um, let's do another comparison as it regards potatoes. So this is the baker. So you only get four food, but you get that stamina bonus. And I think the extra potatoes would probably serve us more um, as bakers for the stamina bonus than they would making these even though this gives you a lot more food because I mean I've got <clears throat> I've got the hobo stews I can do bug kebabs um, you know for 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 actual food right I wish that used a tomato instead of a potato though but it doesn't that's the way it works so okay cool so I think what we want to do is let's make um how many potatoes does that require just one okay we're gonna split our potatoes in half our remaining potatoes um okay so we have 16 so we're gonna make eight more bakers for mining and then the rest of them we're going to make into bug kebabs and the bug kebabs can be like our our in-between food, if you will. <coughs> so if we if we need to eat, but not a, not enough to you know burn an entire hobo stew, then we'll eat the bug kebabs. And you know I'm I'm not worried about the minus two health or or water. I mean that's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not a major pain in the butt. All right, we have five clean waters left. Let's make some coffee with those, uh, which we can do actually over here. So it's just, you know, as usual, it's the jars that's holding us up. We could be doing so much more if we had a good supply of jars. But we don't, so it is what it is for the moment. Okay. Um, what can blueberries do? Yeah, we can't make... Ooh, blueberry soda. Sugar extract. Hmm. We knew the survival mix, but honestly, guys, survival mix is a pain in the ass. Because you've got to go out and hit grass for a you know, a pretty reasonably long time to get the nuts and berries. Um, and you got to cut down 10 trees. Or, well, unless you get more than one seed per tree. And the problem I have with this, and I'm, I mentioned this really early on in this series because somebody was saying, you need to be making the survival mix. But the problem with it, guys, is you burn more calories gathering the stuff you need to make this than, than the survival mix itself, you know, fixes. It's, so it's not worth it, in my opinion. It really isn't. They should either reduce the recipe or have it give you more food 
Um, it's just not something that I see as a viable uh, food source for that reason. So anyway, um, all right, let's put all this stuff back. Oh, 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 we were going to look at fruit salad. That's right. Uh, and look, at I got eight pears, too. Okay, let's look at fruit salad. That's why I really wanted to get the strawberries going. Uh, so bowl of fruit, can of pears, bowls, and strawberries. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, do we need to do this on the campfire, or how do we make the bowl of fruit? Recipes. Um, crap, oh, personal crafting station. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, let's see how much how much goodness we get out of that. It's making my mouth water just thinking about it. I love strawberries. All right, let's put all the rest of the food back. Pumpkins, what can we do with those? We can make pumpkin cheesecake. But it requires the stove. We don't have pumpkin bread or pumpkin pie unlocked. So, okay. Yeah, so we can't really do anything with the pumpkins right now. I mean, we could also make, like, corn on the cob and stuff if we really had to. What about tomatoes? Recipes. So garden salad, fish tacos, all of this other stuff that we don't have access to at the moment. Put that back in there. Uh, so we just ran out of strawberries for the rest of the pears, so we'll keep those there. Okay, let's take a look at our fruit salad, see what that gives us. That gives us 28 food and 6 health. Wow, that's even better than the veg bowl of vegetables. That's some good stuff, man. Okay, cool. So we got four more of those coming up, too. So... Cans of pears, well, really almost any canned food is like gold because of the, you know, this really cool food that you can make. Uh, but anyway, okay, so let's see here. Did we finish our bakers? Okay, so we're going to save those, like I said, for mining. We're going to save the coffee for mining. Put those back in there, put the bowls back. I need to go plant this chrysanthemum seed, and let's make some bandages. Are right, our pipe bombs done? Look at that. 100 pipe bombs, you guys. It's a little beautiful thing. All right. We'll mix first aid bandages with our aloe cream. And uh, do we need to eat? I've been waiting for a bowl of fruit for a long time. I think it's time, guys, for us to eat a bowl of fruit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Okay, let's top that off with some chips because I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll save this other food uh, for, for later on. And we'll put that extra hobo in there too, just because it take, it's taking up another slot. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I did a little bit of work. Actually, I did a lot of bit of work um, after uh, on day 64. Um... Yeah, on day 64. Uh, so, you know, I worked on the garden and I worked on the base and we're just about got the base ready. And I did a couple more things uh, to it as well. Let me put this away and then I'll show you what's going on. Our, our, our main plan for today's episode was to go do some more trader quests. But let's go take a look and see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to go throw this chrysanthemum seed down first. So I decided not to extend the garden out uh, right now. Instead, what I did is I just used the, you know, buckets of water to kind of fill in the back part. And I just want to kind of see how how that's going to go. If it's sustainable, I guess is the word. Um, yeah, so I filled the this water in here with some buckets. And we'll just see, you know, see what it does. Uh, these plants here didn't mature with the other ones because of the water situation so i just left them in place but basically um our cucumbers are up there but everything else you see on these first three dikes including the row of aloe and pumpkin are, are 20 plants so we're just working on you know getting our shrooms up our chrysanthemums i'm 
debating whether or not I actually want to grow goldenrod because you don't you know I don't use goldenrod very much anyways and it's very easy to get <clears throat> in the wild so I don't know we'll see haven't made that decision but anyway let's uh let's plant this other chrysanthemum that we have here uh, so I'm just gonna pop it right there for now and then over in our little trash bag we're gonna put uh, the other water I also got my hoe and my um my dirt in there if I need it for something and I think we're good all right so we have 200 concrete so basically we can upgrade 20 blocks so let's go back to the base I'll show you the changes I made and we'll do upgrade as much as we can okay so what I did here is I made a vulture cage because vultures will come in on horde night and I can't hit them you know from inside and if you don't kill them then they they're just preventing new zombies from spawning um so what we want to do is i wonder if i should fill this in like we did over here i, I suppose it's theoretically possible the zombie could jump up here and get on the ladder I, I i highly doubt that would happen but i think it's maybe within the realm of possibility i don't know uh so yeah let's patch this up here too um, oh crap, I didn't bring any wood. All right, I'll, I'll take care of that later. Anyway, let's go take a look and see uh, what we got going on here. So yeah, um, this will give me an opportunity then to kill vultures too on Horde Night so that we can, you know, cycle in more Hordies. Um, so I still got to get this all upgraded to concrete, but, but basically, you know, I'm far enough back here now to where I can chuck pipe bombs through the hole um, without blowing myself up so as long you know we need to be five blocks back so we just have to make sure that it's this block here um or even maybe a little further back to be safe that we're standing but then we can come out here um and if we have buzzards we can shoot them with the shotgun and you know clear them out so yeah i think this is going to work pretty good um it's really going to at this point then be based upon our um our hits you know with the pipes pipe bombs if we can keep most of them up above when they detonate then it'll work good i know some of them are going to fall down below it's just going to happen so you know we'll, we'll we'll try it on 70 and we'll just see how it goes and if it's still not working too well then we'll probably go ahead and go back to our original base design over at the other building uh, and we're going to have to do quite a bit of work though to, to shore it up I don't really need to upgrade those blocks, I don't think. Um, okay, so... Got a little bit of extra splash damage, I guess, left over from the Horde Knight. Uh, yeah, so this is basically what we got here. I want these blocks... Uh, oh, we ran out of concrete. I'll get these ones upgraded to reinforce, too, just because they're what's holding up the, the bars here. Uh, but all the bars, as you can see, are upgraded to iron, so we're good to go there. All right, let's go check with um, Bob here and see what kind of a job he's got for us. I'm thinking how, much, how we're doing on gas. Here, let's fill up. Yeah, that's a... We're still only at 86%. Oh, we've already taken a job from him. That's right, I remember now. And it is to... I, I think I remember this being to the south, um, which is where we actually want to go to get gas. So, let's see. Oh, no, that's to the... That's to the north. Okay, that's to the north, but it's still in... Wait a minute. I'm confused. Oh, I see. That's way, way down south. Ooh. Okay. So this is where all of our gas was. I, I was thinking it was going to be over here. Um. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Let's go see what else he has. Edgar, are you inside the trader? Oh, you're not Edgar. You all sound the same, man. That's one thing I wish Fun Pimps would do is they would update the zombie zombie sounds, add more variety. Because I mean, all the male zombies sound the same, all the female zombies sound the same for the most part. 
Anyway, let's like take a look at your jobs. Um, oh, he doesn't want us to give something else until we've done the other one, so we're gonna just cancel that. It's it's just a little far away for us, I think. But let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so preferably we gotta fetch and clear. It's 1.4 kilometers to the south. Uh, we got one that's to the north, one that's to the west. This would be in one of our gas towns, I think. Uh, probably the one with the smaller gas station. Uh, or this one, too. This is a fetch and clear. We're going to get a little more points and stuff for a fetch and clear. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do that one. I'm in a bit of a quandary. Oh, wait, isn't that the Help one we me. just did, though? Survivor House A? Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Well, the pleasure was all mine. You take care now. I'd kind of like to do something new. Okay, so that was um. That was this one. So we got. We don't want to go north. That might be a little too far to the south. Let's see what this one. Well, that's north too. This one's west. I have a task for so, you, friend. It's the same damn house. Well, um, um, all right, you know what? Let's do this. Safe journey. Let's do this. Let's go north. Let's try this one to the north. And I'll just run down and grab some gas I have a task first. For you, friend, if you're Pre Trader 1. Oh, yeah, I think that's the abandoned trader. Okay, yeah, let's you try that one. Man. Let's try that one. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera here. I'm gonna run down, uh, down to the gas towns and get load up on gas, and then I will meet you guys up north uh, at this fetch and clear, which is going to be uh, one of the abandoned trader buildings. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are here at uh, the quest location. Let's pull the bike up a little closer. It's a little framey here. Oh, shit, there's a dog there. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, there's not going to be a ton of places where we can pull up here. Uh, what is this? This is a fetch and a clear. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. We might have to get some serious firepower going. Oh, I probably better heal up, too. You think? Um... All right, I'm going to go... Oh, you know what, darn it? I should have checked the dumpster before we started the quest. Yeah, that was a, that was a mistake. Nothing. I don't even think you're one of our customers. You're just a wandering Zikaruski. Okay, so let's think about some tactics here because that place is like wide open. Um, can we jump up here? That's not going to want to stick to the... Here, let's put those there. We need to make a quick retreat. That's what I'm thinking here. All right, actually, you know what? There's four Zika Roos down there. If we throw our pipe bombs just right, we could. I want. I don't. I want to make sure they don't get up here. We could actually take four, maybe even five of them out in one fell swoop. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll sneak right on up here. I'm going to try and do a chain reaction explosion here. Okay, so let's put throw this one there. And that one there. We didn't quite get that other one to explode, so... Ah, you know what? I should have... Darn it. I should have thrown it further out but oh well whatever 
We took out a few of them, so that's good. And, and the dog, especially, is good. So now, uh, see, the satchel is that way, and it's down below. So can we cheese over this way? All right, we can get... I was going to say, we might be able to get two for the price of one if, if Jiggly comes over, too. No, she just went inside. See, it's not really worth it to use a pipe bomb on one zombie. But if you can kill two two or more, you know, then of course it makes it worth it. What if we could get all those cars to explode? That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. She just ran inside. Come on back out, Jiggly. I, oh, I think we got her because I don't see a red dot anymore. Okay, so we got a, we got two. That's not too bad. All right, let's see if we can just... Take him out. We got zombos coming in from the outside too, which is not ideal. We should be able to pick up a lot of spoiled meat from this place. Okay, so I'm guessing that our satchel is going to be in there. Someone took a tree down. Hey, all the zombies that are currently agitated are from the outside. Hey, good night, Gracie. Takes care of them. Come on back, Arlene. Oh, we got them both. Okay, good. The problem, though, is <laughs> we keep attracting all the other zombies with all the loud noises. What's this shenanigan about? It's nice to have a bunch of gunpowder. It makes life a lot easier. Just make a hundred pipe bombs and go to town. Okay, so we got a Darlene. Can we get Darlene and Skater Punk to get together? Get them to hook up? All right, well, as long as there's no runners down there, I think we can just go down and deal with them. It's just that there's probably sleepers inside of those sheds, and some of them might be runners. Whoops. Darn it. All right. Well, let's head on down. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, balls. Did you see all the greenies that just showed up? Oh. All right, this is... We might have to abandon ship. Oh, we got Mr. Pumpkin, too. Okay, let's, let's go all the way around here. And let's just sit here for a second. Yeah, it's kind of like I figured, man. As soon as we jump down, then we got a, a bunch of nasty, nasty, nasty zombies. Okay. Let's hop off the bike here and quietly dispatch both of you.
Um. Hmm. What to do? Okay, here's what. Let, let's get uh, those back in place there. And see if we can take these guys out. See, there's a glower right there, too. I don't know if we have the firepower to do this, you guys. Not with all the glowers. Let's pull them two over here. Are you feral or just pissed? Soften him up a little bit. Wake up the glower? No, it didn't. All right. You are feral. Nice. I mean, I'm not... The ferals are a force to be reckoned with, don't get me wrong, but... It's the irradiators that are just unbelievably dangerous. Okay, let's um let's hop up here. How'd you get up here? dog did he jump up on a fence there or something all right can we get you guys to bunch up a little bit better here there we go I don't know, ma'am. This, <laughs> this is. I don't know if we could do this. What the hell is that thing down in there? Zombie Iron Man. Yeah, right. Holy shit. Um, I thought I saw a glower in there, but I'm not seeing it now. Zombie Iron Man. Are you shitting me? Okay, how tough is Zombie Iron Man? Oh, well, that killed him. Oh, we're going to get a lot out of this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I should have brought, like, two stacks of pipe bombs with me. Okay, let's see if we can get... There we go. We should get a three for out of this at least. All right. Um, we have nine pipe bombs left. So, um, I saw I saw a glower in here. Why am I not seeing him now? Oh, that's an exploder. Uh-uh. He's even worse than a, a greenie. Okay. So, <laughs> this is crazy. All right, let's uh let's do this. Okay, so that got a greenie, that greenie's attention. Okay, we should get a two for out of this one. I don't know. Did that kill Greeny? Oh, it did. Nice. Then we got 
a zombie scarecrow with no no pumpkin head helmet we got him okay all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go that's kind of a long ways up there isn't it okay let's go around the front here Those frames got damaged by the explosion. Oh man, there's a lot of zombies in there. Shit, 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 shit. Are we safe? See the green green guys back in there. How in the hell does that work? What the hell, man? All right, here. Let's do this. Now what do we do? <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. Let's bring the bike over here. I had no idea how dangerous this place was actually going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be kind of dangerous, but holy crapola. All right, let's get this out of the way. Oops. Very much like to harvest all these corpses if we can pull this off. I think we managed to kill a bunch of Zeeks uh, up there. Can we go in here? This is all tier three to you guys. Can you imagine what tier four is going to be like? And I'm not even going to think about five right now. We need the radiation suit before we can do anything from five anyway. Um. Oh, actually, Satchel is right over here. Okay. All those cupboards. I bet you we can find some jars in there. You know what? No, I'm not going to loot. Let's not bother looting at all. Let's just clear, and then we can loot after we clear. Assuming we can clear. You know what? We, we got to clear this building, so let's, let's clear this building first. In the hell? Oh, that's a dog. Got a screamer outside, too. Yeah, look at all these. <laughs> we, oh, we, we did good, man, with the pipe bomb in the window there. Oh, man. I don't I don't think I would have been able to do this without the, without the pipe bomb. Honestly, don't think I could have pulled it off. Well, we still haven't pulled it off yet. I'm going to scrap that because I need uh, paper. That screamer is not a good situation. She's curious about all the, all the racket. Shit, shit. Oh, 
Oh, didn't make it. Okay. Yeah. This is way above my pay grade right now, you guys. 